Today, we're going to be talking about uh, stress, the effect that it has on our lives, and some of the things that we can do to deal with it. So I think probably there's not a great medical definition of stress. I mean, we have you know, definitions for things like anxiety and depression. Stress itself, though, is that feeling of dis-ease that, that, that all of us encounter at one point or another. Some of us live with us on a, uh, just on a regular basis. So there are very specific things that people can do to help relax. Mindfulness is one. That's just being aware of what's going on around you, taking time out to experience that in a non-judgmental way. So as we talked about before, there's not a, a, a medical diagnosis per se for stress, but regular exercise, exercise that's performed several times a week. It doesn't have to be strenuous for 30 to 45 minutes. There is medical evidence that it actually lowers anxiety. Well, a lot of people who uh, suffer from stress have difficulty sleeping. Almost 70% of, of Americans identify insomnia as a concern of theirs. And I think that many of us are looking for a quick fix so we can go to the pharmacy and we can pick things up that are over the counter or we can ask our physicians for prescriptions. And certainly in some people they may be helpful in the long run. Most of us can deal with insomnia not by using medications but by participating in a variety of activities. One, don't go to bed full. Uh, going to bed with a full belly uh, is associated with insomnia and uh, that should be avoided. Another one is alcohol. Uh, excessive alcohol is associated with early awakenings. Deal with the issues, write them down, or you can deal with them the next morning rather than in the middle of the night. And sometimes the next morning when you look at them, they're not quite as big as they were in the middle of the night. And you're in a better mind frame to actually deal with them.